I am uh, Margaret Ann Windsor, and this is my father, King Edward VIII, the real one. And I did not abdicate. Let me say this. I've got a lot of this on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Instagram. I wouldn't have known about my kidnapping had I not been told by the British Embassy. Back in late 83, after I was in a political campaign to replace Larry McDonald, Congressman Doctor from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I was living in Atlanta. And so I put all this up. What I wanted to say here is my father, the real King Edward VIII, uh, was forced, it was a forced abdication, and a 99-year seal put on it to cover up the crimes and my birth. Let me go ahead and say this now. This man, my father, was a, is, was a great man. I want history to record the truth, and I want what's mine. Um, this is my aunt, Georgia O'Keefe, the artist. My mom was married to my father. My mom was a school teacher, or was, married my father. He never married Wallace Simpson, the American, well, I'll go ahead and say it, whore, spy. This is a double they used. How you tell me, I would never have known because I was kidnapped in 41 and brought to Moulton, Alabama and given the name of a twin. This is a dressed up picture of that family, believe me. Uh, Lina had killed her twins. They were born out of wedlock and this is where I was placed when I was kidnapped. Um... Moulton is near Cortland, Alabama, and there was an uh, air base being built there, or, uh, well, being built. I know that the Kennedy, Joe Kennedy, was ambassador to Great Britain during this time, appointed by Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I've put up pictures made in 39 with uh, President Roosevelt and his wife and mother, and my Uncle George, the illegal George the six who helped kidnap me and helped take down my father. They were planning my kidnapping then. They were all happy sitting on the White House porch in rocking chairs. How's that? This is the double Wallace, uh, the double that married Wallace. Um, she was a divorcee also. This is the double used. And the double was used to do all the horrible things like riding a tricycle and a diaper and all the crazy stuff, quite frankly, to frame my father. Roosevelt's, uh, Roosevelt's uh, Bilderbergers, um, Rothschilds, my own, own Uncle George VI helped do all this. So he could become king and then Elizabeth. And Elizabeth has always known and she, her response is when she's asked, they just don't talk about it. So I want to go back to um, the reason that, uh, well, money was the reason. My father, a decent man, if anybody in the royal family, I, I'm not going to lump them all together, but they knew about this. Uh, so what part of the Ten Commandments did they not understand to not steal? They didn't understand that. Um, my um, mom, I've been told, and this was by the British, that my mom was quite acceptable to them. My mom's Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, sister to artist George O'Keefe, the American. Only time my father was ever wed, the rest of it is nothing but cold-blooded lies to gain power for part of the Windsors and the Jewish Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Bilderbergers, the New World Order that's taken over now that Elizabeth, the illegal Elizabeth II that everybody loves, is a member. And so is Hillary Clinton and probably most of your presidents. It's the Freemasons, the global government. And they really became in power when they took my father down with nothing but cold-blooded lies. It's unbelievable. Anyway, what I wanted to say here, too, I didn't abdicate. 
I found out in 83, if I'm being redundant, about my kidnapping and my father and the 99-year seal placed on it. The 99-year seal covered up the crimes, but my birth. There was an addendum to my father's forced abdication. He always intended to take it back so that he could get things cleared up. The addendum was legal and um, stated that if my father had an heir, that it would not disinherit the heir. So the very day I was born, I was born Victoria II, the legal heir to the British crown. So that's why Elizabeth's father and the New World Order kidnapped me. They had what my father and mother loved the most, and their identity was being stolen by this bunch with the help, had to be with the help of part of the royal family. This is what I wanted to say, too. I've been told that Mary, Queen Mary, who was my grandmother um, and part of the royal family, did not want my mother to be queen because she was a commoner. Now, commoner, according to the dictionary, is an ordinary person without rank or title. And my mom was a teacher, and, of course, Georgia is uh, one of the most famous artists. And here's what I want to follow up. It's okay to kidnap the monarch and stand by and watch it your own son or your own uncle, the real king, and watch the real queen be kidnapped. It's photos when I was brought over here. And tortured, and my son's Mark and Scott. Now, I want to say this real quick. Reverend Spencer Mann, a black minister, when I came here, approached me downtown, Roanoke, and he said, they took what you love the most, and you're a million-dollar baby. Of course, a million doesn't even cut it, but I'm quoting him. And they took what your parents, my mom and dad, wanted most, me. They spent their life trying to get me and they t back, and they talk about exile, the pitying this woman who's nothing but a whore and a, a American spy. And this is a double. I cannot understand people's way of thinking. Elizabeth is a traitor. She should be tried before a world court. Uh, I wish she could stand before me. I really do. But they control the world court. They're the New World Order, the Illuminati. Uh, so where, they say God saved the queen, uh, where are you talking about the imposter, which is queen, illegal, which is Elizabeth, or the real one, me? And what if he did? What are you going to say? Do you think he doesn't know the difference? Uh, I'm not getting across all I meant to say. I, um, except I didn't abdicate. I'm still the legal heir, and I'm still a citizen of the UK, of England, and uh, I, quite frankly, I want my country back. I always have, and my father never meant to give up his title. He was forced, and therefore a 99-year seal. Why would anyone bother to put a 99-year seal on it? And I want to ask that why now is acceptable to have a commoner because that's what Middleton is, Kate. And uh, I want to, they, they use this double uh, and defame my father. He was never married to this woman. She's a divorcee, Wallace Simpson. And yet they use that, that a lie that my father married a divorced woman. And uh, here Camilla Parker Bowles is divorced and she is married so now this is all okay. This is the legal monarch that's had this lineage that's illegal, and she's thought of and touted as being a nice woman. Well, I could be, if it's what you call nice, going around uh, using my money. If I had it, I wouldn't be wearing and begging for clothes and a place to stay and eat. I've been run. I've had things done to me that are so hideous, and I don't know where my sons Mark and Scott are. I haven't since 1983, really. So they took what I love the most, the heir to the British crown after me. And this is me, and quite frankly, I didn't abdicate, and I want my father and my mother's name cleared and mine and my son's, and look at my country, what they, what's been done to it. 
is being overrun by so-called refugees 